Well, nobody solved climate change, but the reason we call the book How Some Countries Have Solved Climate Change and the Rest Can Follow, we're talking about a path that no one country can solve climate change. It's a global problem. Mm -hmm. We're talking about a path to decarbonize the world. We need to decarbonize the world economy really quickly and at massive scale. Um, and the way that some places are doing it, and I would include California in this, they're moving in the right direction, but it's not fast enough, and it's not a path that could actually realistically get to the goal by mid-century. Other countries, and we talk about Sweden quite a bit, um, Stefan's country, um, France, Ontario, South Korea, have added clean energy much faster, and we're interested in that model and how it could apply to the world as a whole. The metric that matters here is carbon going into the atmosphere. It's not what you say, it's not how many renewables you put in or how many nuclear plants you put in or how many protesters you get in the street, it's how much carbon's going up. And you don't need to take our word for it. There's a wonderful website called electricitymap.org that shows how many grams of carbon for each kilowatt hour of electricity? You know, how dirty is your electricity for the countries in the world and for the states within the United States or regions? And if you look at that, you can see who's green, color-coded green, that's very little carbon going in, and, and who's really brown, you know, a lot of carbon. California's in the middle on that. Sweden and France are really green, and they're doing it with nuclear power primarily, in Sweden's case, nuclear and renewables, uh, there are also countries that can do it with hydroelectricity, but that's very hard to expand because uh, many countries don't have that resource. Um, so we want to turn that map green, and we have very little time to do it, and it's at a large scale.